welcome to Artistic Adventures. This is part three of our Chinese style doll project and we'll be working on the wig in this video. Let's get started. I had to order another two ounces of that beautiful black alpaca fur to continue the wig. Uh, after I got started I ran out but uh, we're ready to go now and we'll start with the wig cap which we had already done previously. If you needed, if you need to know how to do that I have a wig cap video, just check it out. For now, let's get on with the engineering of the wig and how we construct it with this front part and the fan in the top. Uh, we'll need some thought process as to how we uh, set up the wig and how we apply the alpaca fur. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to have a fringe in the front for that will come down and then this dot will have a uh, hair coming out that will cover the glued down hair and then we'll have a part and then we'll have the hair that goes up into the fan. So we'll start with marking the wig cap to help remind us where we're going to put these items because once you start putting the fur on you lose sight of it. <laughs> so I'm putting a dot in the front and then a, a line for the part and then a dot at the back that will be where we attach the fan of hair. So the first thing I do is get a fairly thick bunch of the fiber. This is, this is the part that will go into that front hole and just take some glue and work it in there real good making sure you get all the fibers wet with the glue and then we're going to let that dry and uh, pull it through the hole in a minute. Now I'm going to um, be very careful and apply the front fringe because I don't want the glue to show. I want to make sure that the hair is glued right to the edge of the wig cap but that the glue doesn't show. And I forgot to do this part earlier but always if I'm using black hair I want to go ahead and mark the front of the wig where it might show through with this Sharpie marker and that way it will not be obvious if uh, a part of the wig cap shows through in the very front. Alright, so now I'm going to continue adding that hair along the front, being very careful and making sure that when I press the glue out I press towards the crown, not towards the front. That will help keep the glue from showing when you flip, you know, when you pull it apart. So now I'm just going to continue to put hair around the edge. The back part is not as crucial, you know, as far as showing the glue as the front part is, but still being as neat as I can, trying to make a nice looking wig. So just to keep putting these little pieces around the edge, I'm using the E6000 glue. And now I'm going to cut a hole in that front part that I marked, trim off the excess glued part of that uh, little group of hair that I put together. And I'm going to show you how to stick it through the hole. I don't want to go from the top down because that that glued piece is pretty wide and I don't want to widen the hole. So I'm putting a piece of uh, I'm threading a, a thread through there with a loop and then put the hair into the loop at the top and then pull it through the hole and once I get it pulled through then I can pull the long part out and that leaves the glued part underneath and then I'm just going to fold that back against the wig cap and put a little bit of glue on it. Don't put the glue close to the hole because it will leach through and, and make a little hard spot. Alright, so now we've got that front part with the hole finished and we've got the glued part of, the, or we've uh, put hair around on the, the wig. So we're going to just continue to put pieces of hair around on the bottom part and build it up to the other hole and also to the part which we'll do a little bit later. I actually got this part done and then I ran out of uh, alpaca fur and had to order more and that's why I haven't 
filmed in a few days. I was waiting for that to arrive, but this was the original black hair that I got for the Chinese doll, and then I used another portion of that on the Regina Evil Queen doll, and then I ran out. So two ounces would probably do three dolls, three small dolls, but not with the large doll. So now we're going to put the part in, that's the section between the two dots, and to do that we're going to glue sections of hair and then flip them back over both ways to make a part. So you have to be very careful with the glue. Again, you don't want to be too messy. You want to have a nice clean line so when you flip that over it's, um, it's very clean looking and doesn't go across the, the line for the part. So while I let that dry, I'm just going to continue to add <clears throat> additional pieces of the fur to the back of the wig, building up to that other hole. And as you see, when I put the glue down and put the uh, fiber on it, I always press with my thumb up towards the crown to make the glue attached to all the hairs, but also not to make it go further in, you know, down. I want it to go up so that the hair has a nice line. So all of these fibers that I'm putting on now are going down. Now I'm putting on the other section. I flipped over that one section I put for the part, and I'm going to do the other section. So I'm gluing it in the same direction as the other part, and then I'll flip it over and we'll have a nice line in between the two pieces. So let that we'll let that dry and just keep putting more of the fiber on to the back of the doll up to that second hole. And once we get the all of that on, then I'll show you how to do the part that will be the um, fan that we attach to the upper part of the doll's wig. I always think about making wigs sort of like a construction project, sort of like architecture, because uh, you know, they're not like a regular head of hair where you can just pull it up and you've got nothing but roots underneath. You have to think about where the glued part is and what will show. And, uh, you know, that's really part of this whole construction project is, you know, knowing when to put what at what stage so that you get the look that you want later. Now, if you're just doing a simple wig that's going to just be, you know, hair from a, a single part hanging down, it's not this complicated. But when you start adding these elements of hair decoration or hair being pulled up or portions of hair and ponytails or whatever, then you have to think about how it will look from the perspective of it being glued down. So that's why we're doing all these little different steps with this particular wig and Hopefully it will all turn out in the end. <laughs> so we've got that front section pulled up to protect it from the glue. That's both the part and that front part. Now we've I've got a circle there. Uh, you see at the end of the part section, that's where we'll put the fan part that we pull up. And other than that, we're just going to keep adding glued hair wafts up to that circle. And then we'll leave that circle sort of bare and then we'll be gluing the the piece that will pull up on that uh, bigger circle. And once we get all that done, then we can really style the hair. I'm going to pause once I get to the point where that's where I've got everything covered except that hole and go ahead and wash the wig and comb it out a little bit and then we'll be attaching that front part. All right, so still just adding more pieces, trying to get as close to that hole as I can without going over it. So I still wanna have a place that's that's got the scalp or the wig cap uh, sort of clear to be able to attach the glue to. It'll be better than gluing it on top of hair so it'll stay. And you can use really small pieces to be able to to get the effect that you want. You're not having to use really large pieces. Just glue them, you know, 
in sections and then it will look more natural. And it depends on, you know, how much hair you put down is how, how thick you want the wig to look. So she she's just going to have her hair falling down other than this uh, contraption on the top of her head. So it doesn't need to have a huge amount of hair, but this will be a nice thick wig, I think. I love this alpaca hair. It's so pretty. That's black. Must be a beautiful animal that got sheared. <laughs> I always get my stuff from Alpaca Meadows. Um, they have really beautiful products that I've always been satisfied with. And I, I usually put the link in my description box with the products that I use. Okay, so I've washed the wig off camera and dried. And you can see now those are the two pieces of the part. They've come apart and make a nice part. And then that front section will hang down so that we can have a nice uh, center part and not have the wig cap show through. All right, so now I'm going to take this really thick piece and I've glued the end of it and let it, and uh, I actually I put a rubber band around it and now I'm just gluing it, making sure I get all the fibers wet at the tip. And then I put a little piece of glue on that hole at the top, or not hole, but the circle that I drew. And then I'm attaching that and I'll let that dry. So now we've got a doll who looks a whole lot like it from the Adams family. And now we're going to make that fan. So we've got this nice pretty pigtail up at the top. And we're just going to put a rubber band. We're going to loop it and then put a rubber band around it and then fan it out. And we'll be doing more in terms of hairstyle at the end of the video. Uh, I just wanted to get the wig made and then we'll move on to making the dress and get the costume on her. I put a, a piece of hair around there and, and then glued it down to hide the rubber band. And we'll be making hair ornaments and all that, so there's still a lot to do. But um, I just wanted to get the wig part made and out of the way, and then we can move on to the costume. All right, so we've got the fan made, and I put a little hairspray on that. And then um, opening up the front there where the part will be. So we'll have, you know, the two strands hanging down on either side of her face and then the rest will just be hanging straight down her back and you know with the hair ornaments and everything I think it'll look will look really great all right so that's our wig and um, next we'll be moving on to the costume in the next video and we still have you know lots more to do to this doll this is just the basics of the wig we have lots of styling to do and then we'll see how she looks with the wig and all the costume in the final video. All right, so I hope you liked and enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And as always, if you subscribe, you won't miss a thing. Thanks, and bye.